Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, once again, our good Lord blessed us to meet each other. Today, we are thinking about how can we increase the presence of how can we uh, live a life which is uh, which is which has a constant companionship with jesus with our lord let us pray for some time let us pray some time for the wisdom of holy spirit hallelujah 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 glory to jesus oh holy spirit come with your fire and let us rejuvenate us Holy fire, 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 holy presence may the majestic name of our lord jesus be glorified now always and forever amen 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 amen, amen. 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 praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus i am very happy to address you this hour in this hour because my lord always uh, always my lord always compels me to speak about evangelization when i meet my coworkers when i meet the fellow believers they are satisfied with the sunday mass sunday liturgy and with some charity works when bible preaching is going on in their parishes or when the gospel ministry when the when lord bring gospel ministry to their lands they are not at all interested to attend to participate in this gospel ministries dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus our lord jesus christ invited each and every one of us each and every christian is duty bound to proclaim the word of god it is written in the bible what to me if i am not doing the ministry of the word if i am not doing the preaching in mark chapter 16 verse 15 we read like this go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation yes 
proclaim the good news to the whole creation it is our duty in the beginning i was always crazy and i was always thirsting for god's presence but i was never getting i i did hours and hours of prayer i did so many good works uh, good works charity works works of love but i i couldn't experience the divine mighty presence of the lord then holy spirit prompted me to do the evangelization works to visit fa- families to preach word of god to preach christ to the gentiles to preach christ to each and every one who comes to me there began a deep and a very close communion with jesus jesus was always moving with me he began to work with me he was very happy with me i know because so, so many interventions were there praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 especially if we proclaim the word of god to youth and to the children it is very very pleasing to our heavenly father ainish he is she is uh, she is working among the children among the youth among the young adults for years and years she is very convinced of the evangelization works let us hear from ainish praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord i'm going to read out what our pope has mentioned about working for the lord pope francis says some people may think i go for mass every sunday and i have enough faith but i do not feel like sharing this faith to another person the pope goes on to say so to stay in one's own house living a quiet life and not risking anything this is enough that is a kind of spiritual sloth or laziness so when we are taken up by the sloth or the spirit of laziness then we close the door to the graces of the lord praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 1 john chapter 2 and verses 14 says this way i write to you young people because you are strong and the word of god abides in you and you have overcome the evil one the word of god does not tell the youngsters that you can overcome the evil one but the word of god mentions you have overcome the evil one if the word of god abides in you these days satan is trying so many deceptive tricks although he is trying to catch hold of the young generation into worldliness prayerlessness maybe different distractions of the world but Holy Spirit is giving us this promise that when the word of God abides in the youngsters they can raise up to their faith and they will be on fire for the Lord because they already have overcome the evil one I remember while in the UK there was a youngster uh, her name is Cheryl Cheryl belongs to a very devout catholic family but over time as she mingled with her friends slowly slowly she began to lose her faith her parents saw that she was distracted now she wouldn't come for the family prayer and one time she said this way that secretly she was nurturing the thought of actually leaving her religion altogether and embracing some other religion her friends were uh, telling her about but by the grace of god her parents asked her to attend a five days retreat she came for that retreat although she was very rebellious she didn't want to come and she was sitting there with a very rebellious nature but she says by the third day as she was listening to the word of god 
she felt as though the preacher who was preaching the word of god was talking everything about her life and therefore she realized that how far she was away from the love of god she made the best confession of her life and she turned her life to jesus she didn't stop at this after that she went back to her school and she initiated a prayer group there were almost 20 to 22 young teenagers boys and girls who came to that prayer group and every day during lunch time they would pray together this did not go unnoticed by the teachers and the principal of that school and one day i get a call from the principal of the school and he asked me this way how is it that your girls they are so holy what is this change in them and i told him it is the work of the holy spirit and he said this way then please can you come and give this holy spirit to the other 1500 children of our school and we went together as a team and the holy spirit allowed us to impart the word of god to all the people i still remember young teenagers the bridge teens they were so happy they were filled and they were rejoicing when they heard the word of god praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah there is so much power in the word of god my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus we can take many advices from people we can receive good ideas from people we can receive good uh, theories or philosophies from people we can listen to many inspirational talks when we are feeling low but the word of god is the, is from heaven it is only there is power in the word of god which can bring repentance among us only the word of god can change our life it can bring a u turn to our life only word of god can bring us deliverance from bad addictions and evil or sinful habits i remember a girl who came to attend one of the retreats in the united states and she also she was forced to go for this retreat what was her problem she was feeling very low very depressed because it was 7 years since she had spoken to her dad it was 7 years since she went last for confession but as she heard the word of god her life changed and not only that she took one year commitment for the lord and throughout that one year she only she was receiving the word of god reading the bible and preaching the good news to other youngsters so is there a reward in uh, in preaching the word of god yes there is a reward psalm chapter 19 and verses 11 says there is a reward what is this reward john chapter 5 and verses 24 says this way anyone who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has eternal life yes if we listen to the word of god it can give us eternal life the word of god says in james chapter 1 and verses 18 the implanted word of god has the power to save your souls so when a person is listening to the word of god his soul is getting renewed his soul is getting saved therefore it is so important to give the word of god to preach the word of god to others my dear brothers and sisters in christ there is a word of god waiting from heaven to change our lives the word of god says in james chapter 1 and verses 21 the word of god has the power to save our souls yes my dear brothers and sisters in christ when a person hears the word of god his soul is saved james chapter 1 verses 18 says this way that it is the word of god by which we get a new birth that is why when nicodemus went to jesus he was born again by listening to the word of god therefore there is a word waiting for each one of us so that that word of god can renew us can transform our lives therefore let us pray to the lord to give us this this wisdom to encourage others to go for uh, for conventions for bible conventions 
for the wherever the preaching of the word of God is taking place. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 says, when anyone has joined to Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, my dear friends. It is true. If you want to be a very, very if you want to be acceptable to the Lord, we have to do the evangelization work. The apostles, they knew the mind of Jesus. What did they do? They all went out to proclaim the good news without any exception. All the twelve. They all went out always and everywhere. They were fully immersed in proclaiming the good news. And what did the Lord do with them? Mark chapter 16 verse 20. And they went out and proclaimed the good news everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by signs that accompanied it. The Lord was with them. He was very close to them. Always and everywhere. So, it is the most precious thing our Heavenly Father, our Lord Jesus Christ demanded from us. Work for the salvation of souls. Now let us pray. Holy Spirit is the chief evangelizer. Holy Spirit is the chief leader of this gospel ministries. So let us pray to Holy Spirit to, to rejuvenate us to empower us, to give us a burning heart with the love of Jesus for the salvation of souls. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready. Come, Holy Spirit. Holy fire. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you want to enjoy the constant presence of Jesus Christ? Do the ministry of proclaiming the good news to the poor. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallel
Now let us surrender all our diseases, all our infirmities before Lord Jesus. Matthew chapter 8 verse 17, he took away all our infirmities and carried away all our diseases. With a deep faith, let us call the mighty name Jesus. Please kneel down before the Lord Jesus. Jesus is really present here. Unstretch out your hands. Call the mighty name Jesus. 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 Jesus, Lord Jesus, 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 